Welcome to the American AVK Series 41 Swing Check Valve Overview Module. In this module, you'll learn all about the Series 41 Swing Check Valve, including history, function, standards compliance and testing, construction features, product range, and technical information. The AVK Series 41 Swing Check Valve was originally developed by AVK for international markets. In the 1990s, the 3-inch through 12-inch sizes were developed for the United States market, and American AVK began selling the Series 41 in the U.S. The main function of a swing check valve is to prevent return flow by closing when the flow through a water line stops or reverses. In addition, the check valves with levers and springs, or levers and weights, provide a visual indicator to the operator that there is flow going through the pipeline. The lever is up when it's flowing, and down when it's not. Now let's review standards compliance and testing for the AVK Series 41 swing check valve. The AVK Series 41 swing check valve meets or exceeds the requirements of AWWA C508, which is the AWWA standard for swing check valves for waterwork service, and the interior and exterior coatings meet or exceed AWWA C550. These check valves are certified to NSF 61 for the health effects of drinking water and NSF 372 for lead. And, as with all AVK products, they are manufactured in an ISO 9001, ISO 14001 certified facility. Each valve is tested to the requirements of AWWA C508. The shell test is two times the rated pressure, and the seat test is at rated pressure, which is 250 psi. In addition, the AVK Series 41 swing check valve has been proof of design cycle tested to 1 million cycles. Now let's discuss the design and construction of the AVK Series 41 swing check valve. A key feature of the Series 41 swing check valve is that it's very easy to repair. The entire bonnet assembly with all of the internal parts can be lifted out and a replacement bonnet can be installed with little downtime and without removing the valve from the line. There are three seating options for this valve. The most common seating option is the resilient seat which seats against epoxy coated ductile iron in the valve body. There is also a resilient seat which seats against a bronze ring in the valve body and less commonly a bronze ring on the disc which will seat against a bronze ring in the valve body. There are several actuation options for the Series 41 check valve. There is no lever, which is also called the swing version or plain version. There is a lever and weight, a lever and spring, and a dual lever and weight where there is a lever on both sides. For the lever and weight or lever and spring valves, the lever can be on the right or left side of the valve when looking downstream. AVK can also provide pre-drilled bosses on each check valve for bypasses and pressure taps. There are five bosses on each valve, four in the body located upstream and downstream of the seat, and one in the bonnet. The AVK Series 41 has a product range of 3 inches through 12 inches. It's available with flange by flange end connections through the full range of the valve. The standard drilling pattern is the ANSI B16.1 Class 125. PN10 or PN16 international flanges are available for customers with imported equipment. Now let's review the technical information of the Series 41 swing check valve. First, the materials. The body, bonnet, levers, and weights are ductile iron to ASTM A536 standards. The coating is AWWA C550 fusion bonded epoxy. The bonnet bolts are 304 stainless steel standard, 316 optional. The bonnet gasket is EPDM and encompasses the bonnet bolts protecting the bolt threads from the interior and exterior environments. All of the O-rings are NBR. The shaft and hinge are 316 stainless steel. The shaft bushings are bronze, and the internal hardware is stainless steel. The disc is encapsulated with EPDM for drinking water applications. NBR has not yet been developed. 
Another key feature is that the AVK Series 41 has relatively low head loss, or a high CV value. CV, or the coefficient of velocity, is the amount of water that can flow through a valve in gallons per minute and generate 1 psi of head loss. The CV number is primarily used to compare the head loss between two valves. For example, in the table here you can see that an AVK Series 41 4-inch valve has a CV of 950 while a 4-inch rubber flapper check valve has a CV of 440. The higher the CV, the lower the head loss. So the AVK Series 41 experiences about half the head loss compared to a rubber flapper check valve. The Series 41 lever and weight valve does have higher head loss than the Series 41 valves without weights, as it takes energy to hold the weight up. However, once the disc is fully open, the head loss is nearly identical. Overall, the AVK Series 41 is better performing and more energy saving in pumping applications than a rubber flapper check valve. In addition, the Series 41 has a clear waterway design. With the clear waterway design, the disc in the full open position is fully clear of the waterway, so there is no obstruction in the flow path. By comparison, rubber flapper valves are a full waterway design. With the full waterway design, the disc in the full open position is not clear of the waterway, which increases head loss. The AVK Series 41 is pressure rated to 250 PSI. It maintains the standard B16.10 laying length from flange to flange, and yet obtains the performance desired of a clear waterway design. The AVK Series 41 achieves this by mounting the shaft in the bonnet as opposed to the body of the valve. It's important to note that check valves come in two laying lengths, the standard B16.10 and a longer clear waterway option defined in C508. AVK's design eliminates the need for two laying length options and eliminates the sacrifice of performance if the shorter laying length is specified. This shaft and bonnet design also makes repairing and rebuilding the Series 41 much easier, as the complete head assembly can be quickly swapped out. The end user has the option of rebuilding the old head unit and storing it as a backup. Water hammer is caused when flow in a water line suddenly stops. This causes a pressure wave to travel down the pipeline at the speed of sound. This shock wave traveling down the pipeline is the hammering sound that's heard when a check valve suddenly closes. To prevent water hammer, there are two things that can be done. Close the valve quickly so the water flow does not have time to reverse, or close the valve slowly so the water flow is gradually shut off. To close the valve quickly, AVK provides levers and adjustable weights or levers and adjustable springs to ensure that the valve will close before flow reversal can occur. The seating angle is also tilted 15 degrees, which helps the disc close quickly and ensures that the disc stays on the seat when there's no differential pressure on either side of the disc. The AVK Series 41 swing check valve can be mounted horizontally or vertically. When mounting horizontally, the full product range of valves can be used. However, when mounting vertically, only the lever and weight or lever and spring valves may be used. Vertical mounting can only be used with upwards flow. With either installation, the flow arrow cast in the valve body must be pointed in the direction of flow during normal system operation. The AVK Series 41 is designed with a stainless steel shaft stainless steel hinge, stainless steel bolts, and unique heavy-duty bonnet gasket design. When properly specified for the intended application, the wear and tear on AVK Series 41 swing checks is limited to a few O-rings. O-ring replacement can be achieved by working on the existing head assembly in the field or by quickly installing a new head assembly and rebuilding the old unit back at the shop. Note that all maintenance should be performed on a depressurized system to avoid injury. Now that you've completed this training, let's review the highlights of the module.
The main function of a swing check valve is to prevent return flow by closing when the flow through a water line stops or reverses. The Series 41 meets or exceeds the requirements of AWWA C508. The AVK Series 41 has a product range of 3 inches through 12 inches, with flange by flange end connections. The standard drilling pattern is ANSI B16.1 Class 125. The valve is pressure rated to 250 PSI. It meets the laying lengths of ANSI ASME B16.10 and can be mounted both horizontally and vertically with the flow going up. The removable bonnet assembly makes the valve very easy to repair and maintain. There are three seating options, resilient to epoxy, resilient to bronze, and bronze to bronze. Optional pre-drilled bosses are available. The body and bonnet are made of high-strength ductile iron. The bolting is stainless steel. The bushings are bronze. The O-rings are NBR, and the disc is a steel core coated with EPDM. This valve comes standard with no lever. Also available are lever and weight, lever and spring, and dual lever and weight. The AVK Series 41 swing check valve has a clear waterway design, which translates to lower head loss and better performance than a rubber flapper check valve. Congratulations! You've completed this module.